What's going on YouTube? It's Matt from AZ Diecast here. Going to do a review of a, uh, a nice eBay find. Um, this is a spec cast model. Well, not model. It's spec cast collectibles. This is 164 scale Volvo car carrier. I mean, Miller Industry, blah, blah, multi vehicle transfer, blah. So, this is an empty box because I very opened one and put it over there. But I want to take a minute to talk about a local collector. It sucks for him that him and I have the same taste. So I get him into new things and he never liked trucks. Now all of a sudden he, he's got more of these than me. Um, and we were looking and he wanted more and I always look and things are cool and whatever. So I, you know, whatever. And I was like, yo, I found one guy had two on eBay. He couldn't find them. I found them. I have maybe one day I'll do some things on searching on eBay. I said, listen, the guy's got them for 280 $180 a piece, but he had two. I said, you want one? He goes, I'm not spending $180. I said, would you pay $120? He goes, yeah. So I said, I'll give you $120 for both. Uh, $120 each if I'm buying two. The guy accepted it. So now I have two of these. One's going to go to Jason. By the way, that local collector is you, Jason. Great customizer. They all you're gonna see a lot more custom cars on this channel from him. Yes, a lot of them are gonna be Fox bodies. Um, but whatever. Let's get into this. So I opened it piece. I opened this one. I wanted to see how bad with this hole to see what happened. And we're gonna touch base on a couple things. The main thing I'm really going to touch base on is how crappy the cars are that they put in here. So, there's the empty box. Here's what was inside. Here's the other one. Um, so, if you've watched my channel before, you've seen me do a couple spec cast car carriers, which... If you have a car carrier in 164, it's most likely spec cast. Um, unless you're into the Mercedes ones. Those are nice. I just, I, I, I really want one. But I don't have any imports from Mercedes that I collect. And it just wouldn't look right on there. So I might be able to talk somebody, Jason, into buying one of those Mercedes ones. Uh, but I think... Um, Mini GT, yeah, I think Mini GT makes them. They look pretty cool, but my cars wouldn't look right on it, and that's why I buy stuff that I can put together. So, I'm going to leave this for a minute. Let's take a look at that junk. <laughs> this is supposed to be an Acura, 2001 Acura NSX. Dude, it's got, what is that on the inside? There's no door panels. Did it come off? I don't know. I think I might give this to a couple of collectors and let them do some wheel swaps. Kyle, anybody? And that's an NSX. So JDM guys might get a kick out of that one. This is a PT Cruiser. Remember the big craze of the PT Cruisers? You couldn't even get those in the store. I mean, at the dealership, you had like a waiting list. So, you know what? I'm going to take my words back. The casting isn't that bad. The, <laughs> the wheels are. <laughs> the wheels and the base, yeah, they're pretty bad. But the casting's not that bad. Is it even at least spec cast? I don't even know if it's spec cast even made. They probably bought these. It just says China on the bottom. This is... Corvette. Hmm. 
Yeah. Not a fan. Those lights don't even look right. Is this like a concept one or something? It just doesn't... This doesn't look right. I don't know. Okay, that's a pretty crappy casting. And what we got here? We got a pickup. No way. I'm keeping this. It's a Ford Ranger. It's the right headlights. This is I. This is my truck. Uh, this is my first new car I ever bought, but mine was a super cab. I am keeping this bad boy. That's nice, man. Yeah, that's done pretty good. Mine was silver, though. This is a nice casting. Dude, yeah, I had a super cab, although you couldn't... There were jump seats in the back, but this is... Dude, this is nice. That's that's nice. Jason, I think you might have to give me yours. And this. Oh, I know who's getting this. A Toyota Camry. Yeah. That's funny. That is funny. Okay, now the real reason why we're here. We got a car carrier by Speccast. So this is the J.J. Keller and Associates, Inc. I, I guess they, they did a whole ton, or maybe they're a big shipping company. I'm not a trucker, so I don't know. But there's a ton of DCP and Speccast from J, with J.J. Keller's name on it. So they've got to be something. So I, uh, ooh, that's exactly what Jason said. That pops right off. So, come on. Okay. So let's put this back on. Take this bad boy out. Oh, you son of a bitch. I think I just broke my mirror. I did. Oh, it just pops out. Perfect. I think then I just broke it. Okay. So we got a little box wear on it right there. Right, rubbing. See it? Let's get rid of this. So. Uh, let's start. Let's go right to the cab. Okay. So nice Volvo. I like the flames. It reminds me of like the Michigan football helmets. That's got to be the J.J. Keller. Oh, duh. It's right there. J.J. Keller and Associates, Inc. Since 1953. So, Speccast, DCP would have the, the hoses and stuff. You can always add them. I just love that they have little details here, like that. Very plain underneath. It's heavy, because this is all metal. Standard Volvo grill. It does not open. There's no you don't no engine in there. What is missing is taillights. Headlights are somewhat there. Okay, the dryer. Then over here. Standard car carrier. I love the red and the uh reflective tape on this um jason the local customizer we were contemplating talking you know talking about him he wants to customize one of these i said but you need to find that somewhat you need to find this somewhere so you can reuse that i go i've seen the lights for sale you can paint these but You'd be crazy to try and paint all those. You got to find that decal somewhere. And as you saw, because I did it by accident, because and Jason did tell me, these pop right off. 
and they go right back on. So you can actually have that say whatever you want. Paint over it, throw some vinyl, spray paint, whatever you want to do. Another cool thing is the ramp comes out. Right? And these guys think of everything, right? They even give you these little things, and these have st sticky underneath. I, I, it was in one of my other videos, so I don't know what I'm doing yet, but um, you peel the sticker, and you put them on here wherever you want, and the car won't roll off. Well, how does it look, Matt? Well, I'm going to show you how it looks. My hairy arm. So... Get on there. We're hooked up, right? It's, it's, I love these things. You gotta get a small one. They have the, uh, what's that, the Acura NSX, NSX inside there. So you got a, a really low profile car. Does the Ranger fit in there? No, I didn't think so. Um, but again, you can take these and put these wherever you want so it'll stay up here and not roll down. And that actually stays pretty well, but sometimes they'll fall in there. Um, got a big display case. I got a bunch of these in. Um, I decided to start putting all the customs that I'm getting on the car carriers. And it looks pretty cool and just, it's a, it's a focal point. It's a way to show off, oh, look at those trucks, oh, look at those cars, oh, yeah. Those are all customs that were, you know, I bought or were made for me or whatever. But this was just a quick review. I'm really, <laughs> now I'm really glad that I got that because that Ranger's sick. Um, ladies and gents, have a good evening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the rest of my videos. Peace.